Welcome to week 13 of the college football season, where the number three Oklahoma Sooners are taking on the number 20 Baylor Bears. OU comes into this game at 7-1, their only loss being to Texas. Baylor comes into this game at 5-3. Texas is still leading the Big 12 due to their one win over OU. But if they lose one more and OU can win out, then OU will win the Big 12. But for today, they need to beat Baylor, or there is really no hope of them winning the Big 12. So let's see how today's game goes. And Baylor will start with the football. First play of the game, handoff to Shock Linwood to the outside. Linwood's got good blocking and a first down before being chased down by Charles Tapper. An 11-yard gain to start off. Seth Russell in shotgun trying to replace Bryce Petty this season. He throws, finds Jay Lee at the 50-yard line for a 16-yard gain and another Baylor first down. So now on third and eight in shotgun, Russell takes the snap and he throws. It's caught by KD Cannon and a nine-yard gain. Barely got the first down, but it keeps the drive alive for Baylor. Now all alone in the backfield on second and ten. Seth Russell drops back and he's going to run and he makes a man miss and then is absolutely leveled by Hatari Bird, but he does get the first down to keep the drive alive. Now second and four, all alone in the backfield, takes the snap. Russell under pressure, sacked by Charles Tapper. He fumbled the ball and Baylor recovered it. A loss of eight to bring up third and 21 for the Bears. Not exactly what they had in mind probably. So on third and 21, the backup QBs and now he throws, finds Shock Linwood for a three yard gain before getting tackled. And that would force Baylor to bring out the field goal unit. So now on a pretty long field goal try on fourth and 18, the kick is away and it is good. Almost right down the middle. Now OU gets the ball. Here comes the kickoff to the most dangerous return man in the country, Alex Ross. He's going to catch it about the goal line. He's got it and he's going to run out. And he's got good blocking down the sideline. He's across the 50. Got one man to beat across the 30, 20. And dragged down inside the 15-yard line. An 87-yard return for Alex Ross. And here comes Trevor Knight to try to lead this team into the end zone for pretty much an easy drive. So on first and 10. It's a handoff to Keith Ford up the middle. Ford is then brought down after a seven yard gain. So after one play on this drive, they're at the five yard line. Now on third and three, all alone in the backfield, Knight takes a snap, throws to the end zone, touchdown, Micaiah Quick. And the Sooners strike Quick, mainly off of the 87 yard kick return by Alex Ross, but now we will see what Baylor can do. So down seven to three, Russell comes out, throws, finds Jay Lee. For a first down on a third and six. Now first and ten and shotgun. He takes the snap. It's a play action. He throws to the outside. It's caught by Lee again. He breaks a tackle and then is shoved out of bounds by Stephen Parker. An 11-yard gain. On second and five, Russell takes the snap, throws, and he is brought down after a four-yard gain to bring up third and one for the Bears. We will see if they can get this first down here. Russell. Hand off to Linwood, and he is met in the backfield by Stephen Parker. That does not get any yards on that play. Now fourth and one. They're going to go for it here, and it's a read option, and he is brought down in the backfield by Eric Stryker, a loss of three in Oklahoma football. So third and ten now. Knight takes the snap. Trevor Knight sits back in the pocket, throws and overthrows his man, forcing a three and out, and now Baylor will get the ball. Now on first and ten, Petty sends a man in motion. He takes the snap. He's under pressure from Frank Shannon. Goes out to his left side and is brought down. And Michael Onuwa will get credit for the sack on that one. A loss of six. So now third and 13. Seth Russell takes the snap. Russell sitting in the pocket. Throws. Finds Shock Linwood. He's easily got the first down on that play. A 17-yard gain against the Sooner defense, which has been kind of weak on third downs this season. So now on second and ten, Russell takes the snap. He's going to try to run, and he is tripped up. Loss of two, and that would be Jordan Phillips getting credit for that sack. Now third and 13, starting the second quarter. Seth Russell in shotgun takes the snap. Under pressure, throws out to Shock Linwood, who breaks the tackle, but then is brought down very, very short of the first down line. So they would punt the ball to OU. And now Trevor Knight under center on third and five, takes the snap. Knight throws off of his back foot, and that one's picked. It looked like he was maybe trying to go to the outside to Green Beckham, but threw off of his back foot and it was a little bit low. So now it's Baylor's ball, first and 10. Russell takes the snap, throws, caught by Jay Lee, who has the first down. 
And he already has, I think that's four catches today for 52 yards. So now, in shotgun, Seth Russell takes the snap on first and ten. Under pressure from Charles Tapper, and he got the sack. And with that sack, Charles Tapper breaks the career record for most sacks by one player with 32. 32 sacks in two seasons. Now on third and five, Seth Russell in shotgun takes the snap. He throws, caught by Coleman, and he is brought down by Zach Sanchez. But he does get a five-yard gain and the first down keeping the possibility of a touchdown alive. So now second and goal. It's a read option. Seth Russell's going to keep it himself, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor. And they now have the lead over Oklahoma, 10-7. to So we will see how this Sooner offense responds. On first and 10, Trevor Knight in shotgun. He takes the snap, handoff to Keith Ford. Ford jukes, makes a couple people miss, and has the first down, a 14-yard gain. So now on first and ten, Trevor Knight in shotgun again, takes the snap. Knight drops way too far back, throws, finds Beckham. And Green Beckham powers his way forward for a 19-yard gain. And another Oklahoma Sooner first down. That's Beckham's first catch today. So now second and nine. Trevor Knight in shotgun, takes the snap, rolls out to his right side. Knight's going to run here. He's got the first and then gets out of bounds, an 11-yard gain. So now on first and ten in pistol, Trevor Knight. Snaps the ball, hands it to Samaje Pirine, and Pirine has about a five-yard game for getting brought down. He has not played since the national championship game last year, but Bob Stoops did move him into the second-string spot starting this week. Trevor Knight throws, caught by Isaac Islana, and he goes out of bounds, a 17-yard gain. So now on second and two, he pitches back to Keith Ford, and Ford is going to be stopped at the one-yard line, third in inches for the Sooners. So now on third and inches, Pirine in the backfield. Knight pitches back to Samaj Pirine, and there is his first career touchdown to give the Sooners the lead. He did not score at all last year because he did not play last season. Now first and ten. Seth Russell takes a snap from shotgun. Throws caught by KD Cannon before he is brought down after a ten-yard gain and a first down. Now first and ten. Seth Russell takes the snap. Russell throws. Caught by Shock Linwood, and Linwood is brought down after a 15-yard gain. Under two minutes to go, second and five, Russell takes the snap, throws to the outside. It is Jay Lee catching the ball and getting out of bounds, an eight-yard gain. We really need to find a way to cover that man. Now second and eight, Russell takes the snap, and he throws caught by KD Cannon, and he has a nine-yard gain and a first down. I think that was a very generous spot of the ball. But Russell takes the snap, and he's going to try to run, and he is absolutely destroyed by Charles Tapper, who gets his third sack today. So now under a minute to go, third and seven. Russell's probably terrified of Tapper. Now he's going to try to run, and he is brought down for another sack. I believe that was Jordan Phillips getting credit on that one. Fourth and eight. They'll bring out the field goal unit to make it a one-point game. Kick is away, and it is good, 13-14. Now with 30 seconds to go, we will see if OU can score. Trevor Knight drops back, and he's going to roll out to his right side. And he doesn't see anyone open, and he's going to take off 30, 35 before finally being forced down. A 22-yard gain by the Sooners quarterback. Now first and 10. Knight in shotgun takes the snap. Trevor Knight goes deep downfield, and it is caught by Micaiah Quick. A 27-yard gain. Now on first and 10. In shotgun, he takes the snap. He throws to the outside. It's caught by Keith Ford. Ford has good blocking. He's got the first down before getting out of bounds to stop the clock. Ten seconds. They would run the clock down to five seconds and then bring on freshman kicker Kelvin Taylor. The kick is away, and it is good. So the score at halftime will be 17-3 Oklahoma over Baylor. This game is pretty much how I thought it would go so far. Pretty closely contested contest, and we will see how it goes in the second half. Sooners will get the ball to start the next half. So now here comes the opening kickoff for the second half. Kicks it deep back to Alex Ross, who already had an 87-yard return earlier. Ross is going to field it at the goal line. He's got some good blocking again. Down the sideline, across the 50, only the kicker to beat. And he does. Alex Ross is gone. Touchdown, OU. That is how you start the second half, with a 100-yard kick return. And he has got to be one of the most important players on this team this year just with how well he's played on special teams now on first and ten 
Seth Russell's going to keep it himself, and he shoves off Zach Sanchez and has a first down before finally getting shoved out of bounds by Stan Von Taylor. So now first and ten. Seth Russell in shotgun, and he's going to be brought down for a loss of one, this time by Hatari Bird, who got into the backfield very fast. Now second and 11, Russell in shotgun. He takes the snap, and he's under pressure from Tapper, throws to Shock Linwood, who's got the first down before he is brought to the ground. A 14-yard gain by the Bears on that play. Now first and 10 in shotgun. Russell takes the snap, handoff to Linwood. Linwood to the outside, now he cuts back towards the middle, and he does get a first down, a 16-yard gain from Shock Linwood. Now first and 10 for the Russell. He takes the snap, and once again, he looks to be under pressure. He throws and finds KD Cannon, and a 12-yard gain, and another Baylor first down. Now it's third and six. In shotgun, Russell takes the snap. He throws. It's caught by Harris, who's got the first down before he is brought to the ground. An 11-yard gain by Andrew Harris. First and goal. Russell takes the snap again. And he throws. It's caught by Johnny Jefferson. And he is forced out of bounds at the one-yard line. Now it's third and goal. Russell in shotgun. Hands off to Johnny Jefferson. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor. And they remain relevant in this ball game. Now they come out to kick the ball off again. This time it goes back. And it's Alex Ross back to return again. Don't know why they keep kicking to him. He's across the 20 down the sideline. Only a few more people to beat and is finally caught after a 51-yard return. Second and five. Knight takes the snap. Knight throws deep downfield, and it is Green Beckham with the catch. Touchdown, OU. A 43-yard touchdown for Dorio Green Beckham. Knight has only thrown the ball 10 times today. Now it's second and nine. Russell and shotgun hand off to Linwood. And he is going to be met in the backfield by Stan Von Taylor. Loss of four. And that will bring up third and 13 for the Bears. So now on third and 13, Russell and shotgun takes the snap. He sits in the pocket under pressure and goes down. Loss of four. I think that was Michael Onua again with his second sack today. Now Oklahoma's ball at the 50. Hand off to Keith Ford up the middle. Ford breaks the tackle and then is brought down after an eight-yard gain. Keith Ford has 12 carries for 45 yards today. They have really been able to contain him most of the game. Third and one, handoff to Ford. Ford to the outside, and he breaks a couple tackles and then finally brought down an 11-yard gain on that play. Now we will see what the Sooners can do with this new set of downs. On first and 10, Knight and shotgun, it's a play action. Trevor Knight rolls out to his right side, throws deep, and it is caught by Sterling Shepard down inside the five. He's at the one-yard line. And that's his only catch today for a 29-yard gain. Now on first and goal, Keith Ford in the backfield. Knight pitches back to Ford, and he hurdles Baker Mayfield into the end zone. Touchdown, OU. That puts them back up 38-20 over Baylor. It would really help Baylor to go down and score a touchdown here, but Russell throws to the outside and almost intercepted by Stephen Parker. Had he been a split second faster, that would have been a touchdown for OU. So on third and nine, Russell takes the snap. And he sits in the pocket. He's going to throw it deep now, and it is dropped. Two players had a shot at that interception. It was Stan Von Taylor and Stephen Parker, and neither one of them came up with it. So on third and two now for the Sooners, facing a three and out. It's a read option. Knight keeps it himself. First down OU as we are nearing the end of the third quarter. Trevor Knight has five carries for 41 yards. About 30 seconds to go in the third. Hand off to Ford to the outside. Keith Ford is fighting for the first down and cannot get there. A nine-yard gain, and Keith Ford is injured, which means Samaj P. Ryan will be getting a few more carries. So now starting the fourth, handoff to Samaj P. Ryan. P. Ryan's got the first down after making a man miss, and he's got an 11-yard gain on that play. And now he's up to four carries for 16 yards and a touchdown. So now on first and 10, it's another handoff to P. Ryan. P. Ryan up the middle, and he's got another first down, a 10-yard gain on that play. These two backs working together could be very, very dangerous for other teams. So now first and ten. Play action to Keith Ford, who's back in the game. Knight rolling out to his right side. He doesn't see anyone open, so Trevor Knight's going to run. And he's hit, fumbles the ball, but it falls out of bounds, luckily. So that's a ten-yard gain. Now on second and inches. Keith Ford in the backfield, and they're inside the five. Trevor Knight, hand off to Keith Ford, and touchdown OU. That's 45-20 to now as Baylor is really going to need a miracle here. 
Now on first and ten, Russell in shotgun takes the snap. He throws to the outside. It's caught by Chris Platt, who then is forced out of bounds. A 19-yard gain for Baylor. So now in shotgun, Russell takes the snap. And he's under pressure once again from Tapper. Throws, finds Jay Lee, who's got the first. And then he is brought down by Steven Parker. That's another Baylor first down. Now on first and ten, Russell takes the snap. Russell throws. It's caught by Chris Platt. And he's inside the 10-yard line before finally being brought down by Steven Parker. Third and goal. Russell in shotgun takes the snap and throws to the end zone. Caught by Ishmael Zamora. Or Ishmael, I'm not even sure what to call him. But that is what they need if they want any chance in this ball game. They're going to have to get the ball back quick and score quick. About three more times. So now six and a half minutes to go in the game. Trevor Knight, hand off to Keith Ford. Ford to the outside. Jukes makes a man miss. He's across the 30 and brought down after a 10-yard gain. So now on first and 10. Knight, play action. He's going to roll out to his right side. No one's open that he can see. Makes a man miss and throws it deep downfield. And it's intercepted by Hall. Trevor Knight just kind of chunked that ball into the air and prayed as it looked like maybe Sterling Shepard was open for a second, but it was not long. So now second and five. Seth Russell takes the snap, throws the outside, caught by Penning, who makes a man miss, stays in bounds, and then is absolutely leveled by LJ Moore, who caused him to do a flip. So now it's third and ten. Russell takes the snap. He throws, it's caught by Johnny Jefferson, and Jefferson is then brought down after a four-yard gain. And that will bring up a fourth and six. They punt the ball. Now OU hands off to Samaj P. Ryan, and he's got about a two-yard gain to bring up fourth and five now. And we will see what they decide to do here. They come out for a very long field goal try from their freshman kicker. And the kick is away, and it is no good. Just short of it. So now Baylor will get the ball back. 27-45, they're going to need something big. Russell throws to Jefferson. He's got good blocking down the sideline and forced out of bounds in Sooner territory. That's a 13-yard gain. Three minutes to go in the ball game. Seth Russell in shotgun takes the snap on first and 10. He's going to try to run, and he is met by Charles Tapper, who gets his fourth sack today. So now on second and 13. Russell in shotgun again takes the snap. Once again under pressure, Tapper just misses him, and it looks like he may get the first down, and he does with about a 15-yard gain on that play. Now first and 10. Russell in shotgun takes the snap. Russell runs out to his right side and he is met by Charles Tapper for the fifth time today. And we would injure him. He broke his collarbone. He's out for the year. So now here comes the backup quarterback. And he comes in, throws a screen pass, and he's got a first down on a 22-yard gain. Now on second and two. Johnson takes the snap, throws to the outside, caught by KD Cannon. Touchdown, Baylor. And this game is maybe still alive. So now they're going to go for two, try to make it a 10-point game. Johnson is going to try to run, and he is brought down. So it's still a 12-point ball game. And they would just kick it away and then hope on their defense. Second and four, hand off to Samaj P. Ryan. He jukes a man out down the sideline. This game is over, and he forces P. Ryan out of bounds, a 26-yard gain to close it. If you stuck around to the end of this video, thank you. Um, if my voice sounds a little bit different, it's because I'm doing this commentary while I'm a little bit sick. I've got like a stuffed up nose and a little bit of a sore throat. But I'm doing this anyway because if I don't get it done today, you're probably not going to get it till Thursday. So yeah, there's that. But one change I did make, which I did not point out in commentating, um, in case you didn't notice, which I would hope everyone did, I changed Steven Parker's number from 32 to 11 because Samaj P. Ryan was number 33 for some odd reason. So I put him at 32, which is his actual number, and then put him in as the second halfback. And I'm just going to use Ross on punt and kick returns. I got a couple requests to use Samaj P. Ryan more, so I decided to do it. And obviously it paid off. I did have to change his ratings slightly because his ratings were super, super low. And I just had to change a little bit of them. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Next video, I think we're playing Kansas State. So that will be up hopefully on Thursday or Friday. And I will talk to you guys next time.